So I'm hoping that this one I won't have to do a, a voiceover like the previous one. So I'm gonna try to be as fast as I possibly can. So now I'm going in with my um, LA Girl Orange corrector, and I'm gonna mix it with my um, Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 55. And I'm going in the back of my hand. I don't need a lot because. It's just so that I can mix it with the color corrector because I don't want to use a lot of um, concealer or foundation so I'm going to spot conceal or color correct any discolored areas that need to be color corrected. You know what? Mush a little blush. Let me go in with, I'm also mixing in my LA Girl. Concealer in the shade Toffee. I need to restock. So today I'm doing my um, base routine. I'm gonna be showing you my updated um, foundation routine. And I didn't, from the last video, I didn't, um, what's this, wash my brushes so I'm stuck having to use other brushes so I'm mixing it mix 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 okay and then I'm going in like if you see me looking ahead please don't mind this time I didn't want to cover up my face with the hand mirror so I'm gonna be using I put a bigger mirror behind the mirror that was there I put it behind the camera so if you see me looking ahead, don't do not be alarmed. Don't be scared. Tell me what you say to me. I tried to drink it away. And with this, um with color correcting, you only wanna go in the areas that need to be corrected. Only focus on the areas that need to be color corrected. I've already pe prepped my face um, using my my two primers. My I went first went in with my um, what's this? My Essence Hydrating Primer, and then I went in with my Elegant. So that is out of the way. Um, can you see? When you use a brush, using a brush helps you like focus product on the specific area that you want to target. Like it allows the product to stay right where you want it. Like I'm correcting under my eyes because I haven't been sleeping. Because I haven't been sleeping. So it's just gonna focus me. And then right here because around my mouth I am very dark. So Okay. And then when we're done, we're gonna lightly um, we're gonna set this with um, what you call? With a little bit of translucent powder. Look like the tiniest amount. Because we're still gonna go over that with like product, so we don't wanna use a lot. Now going in with my um Yardley translucent. Powder. I'm gonna apply just a little, and I'm gonna pour it in here because I find it's easier to work with when I pour it in the lid. Hold it down because yay, this this thing has showed me flames a couple of times that I do not want that history to repeat itself. So, excuse me. Now that I have it in here, I'm gonna take. A little amount. Now I'm gonna test it off there. Ooh. Before I go in with the powder, I'm first gonna do that so that there's no crease. Then I'm gonna see it.
But you knew that already When I found you on the ground, you went dark Now you call me to my yard on the I'm not sure, but I hope you guys can. I hope you can see the difference. I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. And the reason we're setting it is so that the um, color corrector does what it is intended to do. So it's intended to um, cover up the dark areas or dark spots on your face. And if you don't set it, it's gonna. Um, move around so it's gonna probably mix with it's probably gonna mix with the your foundation and whatnot so now that that is done i'm gonna put that aside oh and i've already like i haven't like done my eyebrows i didn't draw them i just like um glued them down with um got to be glued so now I'm going in with my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toffee And I'm doing the underpainting method I feel like it, it, it is Not time consuming And it saves me a lot of product That's what we want To save product So I'm going in right on top of Oof That's a lot But I'm going to turn it over because and when I go in, I don't put the product like right under my eye. Can you see this line here? My crease line, my natural crease line. I don't put the concealer there so that I avoid like creasing. So I put it just under and then I'm going to blend it up. You, you, you will see. You will see. I will wait for you, for you. I will wait for you. And please do not forget to like make sure that before you prime your face, your before you prime your face, um, ensure that like what's this? You've done your proper skincare like proper trust me it will, it will make your look Mwah. so now to contour i'm going in with my la girl concealer in the shade chestnut and dark coca so these two one is visibly darker than the other so the darker one is the one i owned before this one is the one i owned before i changed the way I did my makeup So trust and believe my contour used to be darker than it should be And now I just mix them To have a perfect balance I mix them So do not be shocked when you see me using other brushes because as I said I didn't wash my The brush hmm. I didn't wash the brushes that I used in the previous video so now I'm stuck with these ones. And I'm gonna use this brush to mix. And then I'm gonna blend it onto my bra onto my brush. And I'm gonna make sure that it's evenly distributed on the brush. Because we don't want dark patches on the face. So I'm gonna warm it up on my hand like so. And then so as you can see where my ear is right right there this is where i put my contour here this is where i put my contour up here because we want to give ourselves that lifted look you want to look sculpted so yeah Don't drag it down, just keep it up there. And we're still gonna go in with our foundation, but this method ensures that we don't go in with like an excess amount. Again, this side, right here. Right here. 
and when you um if you're not sure about whether you're placing it in the correct spot you should feel your bone right there where your bone your cheekbone is don't go under the cheekbone which would be under here go on the cheekbone and then i'm gonna go in a little bit there by my forehead just a little bit just to cover up the fact that this is not my hair it is borrowed Mm -hmm. So blend this, blend the product into the brush. Make sure that it is evenly blended into the brush before I go into my nose. So I take my contour right up into my eyebrow, so that gonna be there's no um disconnect is it even the proper way to use but yeah that's blend out my concealer and I'm gonna go in with this brush to blend out the concealer and watch how that concealer that we put there earlier has just disappears can you see by um and then I'm gonna leave like what's this I'm gonna leave it a little bit there by the eye so that it can like sit there a bit longer and I can get more coverage without applying a lot of product okay, without applying a lot of product and make sure you also blend the edges of that concealer because as much as we're gonna go on top of that with um what you call with foundation it's still gonna show if you didn't blend out properly it's a warning so it's gonna show it's gonna be evident and with brushes i love using brushes well it's a newfound love i love using brushes because it keeps the product right where you place it it doesn't spread it out like unnecessarily so you know and then i'm gonna take this little brush and i'm gonna blend it out i'm gonna blend out the nose highlight So now, going in right under the eye, because we've allowed it enough time to sit. And make sure you don't like let it sit for too long because it's gonna dry down and then now going in with my foundation and i'm using my um maybelline fit me matte and polis in the shade oh. these new ones they don't have shades written sorry about the lighting these new ones don't have shades written so it's in the shade three five and I'm putting it at the back of my hand and hopefully we won't need to use all of it because that seems like a lot you're gonna have to forgive me I'm gonna have to use this dirty brush because I love this brush 
and it's the only one that I have that that I um puts on foundation properly. So yeah, you're just gonna have to deal. And look at how I'm using it to blend out the places I didn't go in with concealer or um watch this or contour. Because we're using it to blend and which will hopefully result in us using a little amount, not a lot. Just a little. As you can see, I'm blending it out on my hand before I go in directly on my face. you this method will save you a lot of money it will save you guys a lot of money and yeah done I'm gonna go in with that concealer brush and just like fix up a little bit here and there Oop. And then back with my foundation brush just like blend out there a little bit by the nose to make sure that my um nose contour is still intact and that it's not too harsh so next I'm going in with my orange concealer as blush and for that I'm going to use the brush that we used when we were applying it as a color corrector and I'm going to apply it right here. No, it seems like a lot. I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. When you see my big guns Run around, run away As the rebel comes out Then you go, call on me When you call me, I come Then you go See? As I told you guys, some of these brushes Are gonna seem kinda nasty because I didn't wash them But do forgive me I'll hopefully wash them Right after this video Blend that and then go in with the I'm going in with my translucent powder again proceeds blend out this side as well so that the concealer does not set the crease as well so I'm gonna set the rest of my face off camera and I'm gonna come back and finish up with the face so I'm done setting the rest of my face with the translucent powder now i'm gonna go in with my powder powder contour and blush I'll, I'll i'll do it after so i'm gonna go in with this palette the la girl blush collection shade range spice this is how it looks on the inside that's how it looks and i'm gonna use um this um brown shade as contour and I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush. I know the last time I used like a, a smaller brush, the same one, but a smaller one. But because it's dirty, I have to use the bigger one.
I'm gonna go in with another fluffy brush for the nose contour. my translucent powder and I'm going to do my nose bake to give myself that bright under eye without having to go in with a light concealer that's a hack that's a hack because you can achieve that bright under eye without having to go in with a lighter concealer this Maybelline Fit Me Met and Polis powder in the shape cappuccino and I'm gonna sit the rest of my face then I'm also gonna use it to bake so I'm gonna take it with the sponge and I'm gonna go under here I find it um, easier when you use your a powder closer to your foundation it's easier to bake the sides because it's easier to dust off so I already have mascara on if you can't see I already have mascara on so I'm just gonna dust this off because I feel like it has set for uh, excuse me it is set for long enough and I'm gonna go in with the brush that I used to apply the the color we just went in with now and I'm gonna dust that off So I've done my lips off of camera and I applied more mascara and then now I'm gonna go in with highlights gonna go in with this highlight from the blush palette and this I'm only gonna use for my cheeks Today, because I want it to look like it's a clear from within, I didn't apply blush, so this is what it looks like. It looks more natural. And I didn't do my eyebrows, I didn't do my my eyelids. So my eyelids are just shiny like that. So let's let's do the in the outro and I'll finish this tin off. Okay, okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment. And subscribe and turn on your post notifications bell so that you're notified every time when it's pretty go. When it's pretty go. When it's pretty go, pretty go, pretty go post. Stay prayed up and see you in the next video. Wow.
Lovely. 